Spooky time! Hello all, this is Tammy. Welcome to Tammy time! Thought I'd smoke you all out. <laughs> I'm uh, doing some varnishing today. I thought I would show you what I was doing. Yeah, I got my mask on. I don't have makeup on, so this is it. <laughs> and I wanted to show you what I made to send to Miss Cher Bear. I'd tell her not to watch, but like that is likely because she watches every video and I thank you girl. I love you to death. Okay, today I want to show you what I found while I was cleaning my craft room. Almost bought a bunch just so I'd have some, but I found them. I found them. My craft room is not done yet. As you see, I am still in the kitchen. Yep. But it is coming along. It'll be done by the time my daughter gets here. Hopefully it'll be done by next week. But we're going out of town and uh, this weekend, so I'm not telling you where I'm going either. Ha ha. Anyhow, I've got a few things to show you, and I'm going to do some varnishing and cleaning. I'm going to be cleaning some of my paintings and doing some varnishing because I have some to take to the. I have some to take to some littles, some littles. So let's start off with what I found in the craft room. Then we'll do Sharon's, and then I'll go on to my uh my uh varnishing because i only have 25 minutes so i gotta keep it short uh thank you guys if you are new to my channel welcome to the craziness this is tammy and i thank you and just like share subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my craziness thank you enjoy Who guys. Oh, one thing before we get started here. These are all the comments from day one. Remember, some of you know that I put the comments all in a jar when I pull things out. And this time I said I was pulling out five. One out of the jar from all these videos that I have had in the last month or so, or last couple weeks at least. And, uh, we're going to pull out of that first on Friday night, and then we're going to put them in here, and we're going to put them in a bag because there is so many, and we're going to pick four more out of here, and if they don't uh, email me within 48 hours, then we will pick another one. Okay, guys, I was cleaning my craft room, and I found this box, and I tried to pick it up, and I couldn't hardly pick it up. I thought, what in the world could be in here? I opened it up. My husband packed up a box for me, and I didn't know where anything was. He packed it, and he sealed it. Well, I unsealed it, and I found my saw blades I bought. So I want to paint the saw blades. Aren't they cool? I can't wait. I've got so many. I bought them at a yard sale, I believe, and I've got all various sizes. Yes. And I'm excited because I am going to paint some of these. I'm going to put decals on some. I'm going to do I'm going to do some cool things because my kids when they were little, they made me some and I hung over my kitchen, which I don't have. They're in storage. But they said the best mom, and they had little things on it, and they made it in, in, in vacation Bible school, and I just loved them. So we learned a lot when doing those saws, and I've always wanted to do them. So now I have about 10 or 12 to do. So that is the next project to do. Very heavy. I can't imagine mailing these, but I just might have to. Alrighty, guys. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is for Miss Sharon. It should have already been in the mail, but I uh, I wanted to share it with you, and I didn't have no tape, so my husband had to go buy me some tape, so I could I could do this. So I won't read you her little note, but as you all know, she sent me some wonderful things to make jewelry, and I'm so excited, and I can't wait to get started, but I'm not going to get started until I have finished that room. I am going to finish that room, and that is my uh, looking forward to afterwards thingy. So, I sat down the other day, and I asked her, I knew she was sending me something, and I knew it wasn't coming from her house, so she mailed it, and I knew she knew what I really wanted. 
And I just had a feeling that that girl, bless her heart, I love her to death, was going to get me some things to make jewelry. And I am just tickled. Let's pause. Sorry, guys. Interruption. My husband called. He's been calling and calling and calling. So he thought something was wrong because I didn't answer. That's okay. He knows now. Okay, like I said, I made these for Sharon. I've never made little toppers or anything fancy, so it's nothing beautiful. It's just separated, not thrown in, little baggies, and nothing wrote on them. So I, she asked, I asked her, what could I do for you? I need to do something special for you. She says, send me some mushrooms. And I asked her, fresh ones or dried ones because the fresh ones are going to be kind of hard to scent and she said dried cool because I have a ton of dried mushrooms so I gave her a real cool mix here I'm going to take them out and we'll put them back that way they'll be all put back this one out. It is actually some of my smoked chili peppers. She can crunch them up and uh, put them in a container or and uh, use them in her recipes. They're not really hot. Then we've got some chicken of the woods and they taste and have texture of real chicken. These are awesome mushrooms and when they're fresh they pull apart just like a piece of white meat on a chicken breast beautiful and tasty a lot of times i will grind these up and i will use them in recipes and i made it got a little tag a little uh, clippy for her and this one here is some mixed bolites they're meaty and great with beef some of these, I don't know which one it is, but it smells like bacon when it's cooking. It is the best and the bomb. And I sent her, which kind of looks like I need to repackage, and I think I'm going to. I put a little dry thingy in here, hoping that it would stay and not mold, but dry it out. But I was putting her some shallot seeds in here, so she has some... Uh, not shallots, but uh, chives. So she can grow her own chives. But I am going to change this, fix this, put a new bag in it, and just take the seeds out. That's all. I, I just picked the whole thing and put it in there. But that's fine. So let's put these chili peppers back. It's got a cute little moon that I painted. We'll put those chili peppers back. And I grow a lot of my herbs. And this one is lemon thyme my favorite my favorite along with the balloons i love hot air balloons but anyhow this thyme is wonderful it smells so lemony it's great on chicken it's great on fish it's just great on anything that you want to make it use i did dry that out completely did not want any of it to you know mold that it looks like that that one might have and now these are shiitakes and no i did not find these but i did buy a great big container with some shiitake mushrooms and i sent her some of them and this mushroom is used in chinese foods stir fries and just so you know you when you do dehydrate uh, mushrooms and you rehydrate them you don't need as many as you think because they get, depending on the size, they'll get bigger. They will. That's like, uh, here's my black trumpets. Now these are awesome. They're great with eggs, fish, steak, great on pizza. They are just awesome. I even have some ground in my powder because I gave her some of my powder. I have a little bit of all the mushrooms ground up here. But these are the black trumpets, and I just found these. So these are pretty freshly dried. They're they're completely dried. I have little packets in here to help with the in case of moisture. I don't foresee any moisture in these packages except for that one, and I was really disappointed in that one. But and these here, I needed. I was gonna put a little tag on there, 
and I just may, but these here are marigold seeds and they're probably about eight to 10 generations old. They are awesome. They bring, in, they bring the butterflies, they bring the bees. They're just awesome. And I had another, doo -doo 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 -doo. oh, zinnias and dahl da da yeah, dahlias seeds. These here, I want you to plant, girl. Then take some pictures when they grow. These are gorgeous to grow and to cut. And I know she lives in Florida, so she can grow these all year long. And uh, these here are great for cut flowers to put in a vase. I have definitely used her vase with my flowers this summer. So that is that. Let's see. And this here is called the hen of the woods. This is the kind that you would look at, look for now. It is, um, they're in the woods right now under dead and dying trees, dead and dying oak trees. And I am so up. I just, I want to go out in the woods and I really, really, really want to go. I am thinking of even doing it this afternoon. I'm not sure. I know my husband will worry about me since he's not home today. He would, but I'm okay out there. And I wrote on the back of this one too, this is best tasting mushroom. These guys get huge. This is just a small chunk. And that is, that is just a small chunk. These mushrooms get humongous. Okay. And this is coral mushrooms. These are so, so good. I use them in a lot of my soups and stuff. I crumble them up really tiny and just use them. Good flavoring. It's a pretty cool little decals. And this is another mixed edible mushroom. And they are probably bolites. They're just a mixture of different ones. And I know as soon as she opens this package, she's gonna just, mm, that smell. I love that smell of those bolites. Okay, and this is another mixed. These here are mixed, just mixed mushrooms. So there is a bunch of different mushrooms in this one. I sent her a few pieces of a, of a little Christmassy stuff. Yep, down the side there. And these are mixed, mixed up uh, bolis, and they're very, very, very meaty. It looks like there is a few. Um, coral in here. I guess I should have wrote a mix of mushrooms also, but they're all good. They all go good together. They are delish. Okay. I'm trying to get them back in like I had them. I really had them snuggy. Okay. Another mixed bullets. There are so many different bullets out there that I try to get what I can when I find them. I love these. Mm. Like I said, they smell heavenly. Heavenly. Let's see, we'll stick that in there. We're gonna stick this guy along the edge. I'm gonna take this guy out and stick a bigger one in. Okay, this is called the King Bolete. And it says, I think these are the ones that smell like, or taste like bacon. I was not sure, but I think it was. Okay. And I did give a hint of the woods already, right? Yes, I just did not put her, put her in here. Like I said the hen of the woods is awesome. It is the best tasting mushroom out there. They use them in really fancy restaurants. We got this coral. Let's stick it over here. And now these here are called, these are called wood ears. Let me fix my little clip that I got here. These are called wood ears and <laughs> It's funny because these here, when you when you put them in some, you put them in warm water to rehydrate, and you can use them in any recipes. They're really a nutty mushroom. They kind of have a nutty crunch. I really like them in stir fries. 
but use a very small, just a tiny, tiny little piece. Actually, just take one piece out, Sharon, and put it in some warm water for about 20 minutes and see how big it gets. And some of them may vary. You might want to just chunk, pick chunks off. This here may last you for years. This is a lot of wood ears. And if you don't use what you soak, you can just set it back out, maybe set it in your oven for overnight, and it'll dry back up and you can store it back in. Definitely, definitely a cool, cool mushroom. I use these a lot when I'm making ramen noodles because I, you know, I always want to put something else in and these mushrooms really do the trick. They really do. Don't want to squash that little owl in there that I made. Then we've got this one here, the mixed. And I think there's just one more. Wow, I actually packed this better than I did the last time. And then this here is powder mushrooms. I have ground up mushrooms. I do that and then I just add, you know, tablespoon, teaspoon or two into my recipes. It's wonderful. I use it in just spaghetti. I use it in my roast, uh, even my meatloaf if I make one, my uh, chicken, anything. Anything, anything. It works. So we're going to slide that baby in there. And like I said, I've got this here. I am going to redo it because it needs a new bag and I need to just take these seeds out. I was kind of making it look kind of cool for ya. But can't do that. I guess I should have dried these before sticking them in there. I was trying to hurry because I wanted to get that this package out. But this package may not get out until tomorrow. I do have a car now. I will be able to go drive and get it to you. To the post office, I mean. I wish I could drive it to get it to you. <laughs> Anyhow, that is that from her. And, or for her. And I'm not going to show you what I'm going to do because I don't have enough time on my phone, it looks like. But I am going to clean these. I'm going to clean them with rubbing alcohol. And uh, actually, I might try what Brittany does, and she uses a baby wipe. But my sister Carrie uses alcohol, 91% uh, is what I use. So uh, that's the kind you get. And I will clean it with alcohol. Then I will clean it with uh, a little bit of Dawn dish detergent and water. I'll clean that off and I'll let it dry. And then I will uh, put a layer of varnish on it. Now some of them, I'm going to use this Mod Podge Super Glossy Brilliant. It is one coat gloss finish. So I am going to try that on some of these other paintings, some of my little ones, and see how good this works. This is not a cheap thing to buy. So I really wanted to use it on something else. But I don't think I have enough varnish to do what I'm doing today. So that's what I'm going to do. So guys, if you are not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, please. And make a comment. Tell me where you're from. And I will put your name right into this container. And on Friday, someone special will be drawing out the name. There's a lot of names in here already. And every comment you make, your name goes in here. Every comment until Friday goes in here. So, just a couple more days and we're gonna find out who wins. And it looks like I've only got uh, eight more. I need eight more subscribers, guys, and I can give another away. I'll be 550. Hooray, I love it. I thank you all, I love you all. I, I love your comments. I love talking to you. Uh, I talk to a few on on, on uh, my phone, which I enjoy, and uh, I became friends with a few, and I just am so, so happy, so, so happy, and Jeannie, Jeannie, my necklace is still intact, yes, I love, 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 love it, so guys, you have a wonderful day, I know I'm going to have a wonderful day, it's been 
I've, I've been blessed. I thank you guys for joining me. I hope you come back and just, yeah, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my craziness. Go out and do something that you enjoy doing. Bye, guys.